بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My courtesies to the honorable officials of the national government and the Bangsamoro government, our partners from the military and security sector and civil societies, esteemed guests from the International Diplomatic Corps, partners in peace, guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How I wish I could be physically present to speak to you on the occasion of the ninth year of signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bank Samoro. However, my recent official travel abroad has taken a toll on me and tells it to rest. Nevertheless, my heart and mind are with all of you as we commemorate a milestone for the Bank Samoro people and for peace and development in the country. Moreover, in solidarity and upon request of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority Parliament, Honorable Chief Minister Ahud Balawag Ibrahim has issued a proclamation declaring today, March 27, 2023, as a special non-working holiday in the entire bar. Ladies and gentlemen, the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro or CAB is the culmination of 17 long years of painstaking but meaningful negotiations between the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and the government of the Republic of the Philippines marred by many bloody wars, including three all-out wars in Mindanao. The CAB is a comprehensive attempt to resolve the Bangsamoro question and an attempt to redress the historical injustice committed against the Moro people. As such, it builds on the gains of the previous peace agreements and preserves them while consciously addressing the gaps of the previous agreements. This is the reason why you have taken the convergence path in terms of the peace agreements. It is our unyielding belief that we can work with our brothers and sisters from the Moro National Liberation Front. Holding this public peace forum, on the ninth anniversary of the signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro or CAB is all too fitting. What better time to take notice of the progress in the Bangsamoro and in the Philippines as a whole than today when we are slowly but surely building a strong Bangsamoro government in pursuit of our aspirations for self-determination and genuine autonomy. Indeed, what we now enjoy as Bangsamoro government are peace dividends arising out of honoring the provisions of the CAB, particularly on the enactment of the Bangsamoro Organic Law and its overwhelming ratification and privacy in 2019. In the overall national development context, it then becomes the concern of everybody, including the entire Bangsamoro and the Filipino peoples, to contribute and nurture this peace dividends. There is no other option but peace. Peace requires hard work. It requires the support of everybody, including the international community. The civil society organizations have a clear role and responsibility to see to it that peace shall be sustained. It will take patience, steadfastness, and leadership on the side of the Philippine government and all the fronts to reach the ultimate goal of achieving just and lasting peace. On this note, the faithful implementation of the provisions of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bank Samoro requires honest, sincere, and timely efforts from both sides. I invite all of you to revisit the CAB and remember the long and arduous journey towards its signing. Together, we must all take a dignified stand in ensuring that this hard-earned document preserves its honor and value. Before I officially close this public forum, please join me in honoring the valiant sacrifices of the men and women depart departed or living who have dedicated their lives to the Bangsamoro cause in the name of peace and development in our homeland. I wish to thank the government of the Philippines through the Office of the Presidential Advisor on peace, reconciliation, and unity for organizing this event. 
Thank you everyone and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.